Many alterations to the interface have been deployed, the first of which is to crafting. It is now possible to select an item to craft and then look at or craft subcomponents for that item without having to deselect the desired item and then select the subcomponent. This inconvenience was probably the most annoying thing about crafting and the way in which the solution has been executed is really rather good. The new system will save a lot of time and will also make more complicated and drawn out recipes seem a lot simpler as players will be able to fully pursue a subcomponent rather than having to search for each subcomponent of the subcomponent and in that direction madness lies. Another small alteration that falls slightly short of warranting its own section in this video is the fact that the combat log is much more helpful. All manner of things that can happen to players will now separately be recorded here and filtered at will, including buffs, conditions, heals, interrupts, damage avoidance and basic damage. This is an additional way for the analytically inclined players to figure out what exactly killed them. The Collections Bank section is being named Materials. Why? Because all the things that were actually collectible are being moved to the Account Wardrobe. In addition to miniatures, finishers and outfits will have their own special tabs. They all come with preview capability as well. Miniature things will also be deployable from anywhere in the world, much like equipping an armor skin but with no transmutation charge. This particular change exemplifies why the feature patch is more of a good housekeeping patch but the preview windows are a nice touch. Miniatures aren't the only thing worth collecting. Almost everything now has an achievement attached to it. Piling up items of certain types will contribute to new collection achievements. But don't worry, your bank is safe. Simply possessing the item or unlocking its wardrobe skin will be enough. A few collections will be immediately visible, but certain ones require stumbling upon an item in that collection to become visible, and some very special agglomerations, such as gathering all the spoons interior, require a specific item to get started. In this case, the magnificent collectible spoon box. Each collection will have special rewards for completing it, doubtlessly bundled with titles covered in shameless puns. This kind of progression is what makes Guild Wars Guild Wars. The more horizontal, the better. Yvonne Nashblade realised that his slow, often frustrating trading post was costing sales. Obviously, something had to be done. Azura Code Wranglers work tirelessly, and we finally see the fruits of their labours. Firstly, the pickup tab is gone, replaced by a delivery box, visible at all times when using the trading post. Less tab switching is always good, so this is a good thing. By far, the most requested trading post feature, apart from it working correctly, was the addition of filtering systems, and that is exactly what has been added. Searching for items has never been easier, Objects can now be sorted by profession, rarity, type, and level. There is even a highly convenient button which searches for items of the same level as the current character using the trading post, making equipping them an easy task. The filters will also be applied to the current search in real time, so there is no need to wait for the pigeon to fly over to you with the results of a new search. This method of filtering will also help the player determine if they're homing in on the perfect item for them. It's a long-awaited feature, and you'll struggle to find anyone unhappy with it. Selling things has become a less painful experience too. Items will be listed in the order they appear in your inventory, as opposed to being sorted by name, and the trading post now fully interacts with bags for ease of access. A search function is also present for those items that refuse to be found. It's not just visual though. This shiny new interface is backed up by a new, sleeker, smoother, faster browser engine for maximum performance, and it certainly shows. I don't know what Yvonne is feeding his carrier birds, but it's clearly working.